I get all of that, but Doc, I ain't looking to be pregnant, okay? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shayla Michelle. I'm here with another video. Um, this time is going to be a little bit different. I know I have done a few hauls, um, but today we're going to talk about skin. Although you see me on camera and it does look like I have fairly clear skin, um, that has not always been the case. In my life, I have constantly struggled with acne. Like acne has always been a thing, changed a lot of things, and I had to figure out a lot of things myself. And that that's something that I do want to discuss with you guys. If that is something that you guys would like to hear about, then just go ahead and stay tuned. I also encourage you before I go down this road of telling you all of this, these herbs or supplements that I took to do your own research. Okay. Hi guys, this is editing Shayla. I am in the bed, but I was editing my video and I realized that I did not tell you guys to go to see your either your regular doctor um or your OBGYN and have your hormones tested. You need to know immediately if you're overproducing um testosterone or estrogen. I had that done recently and found out that I was overproducing both estrogen and testosterone. So that can be the reason why you're suffering from breakouts is the overproduction of those. And sometimes even if you're underproducing, but that is, as a woman, a vital thing to know. I've been completely dealing with acne, very like mild acne since I was in um, middle school. I want to say it started around ninth uh, eighth or ninth grade um, around that time around the time that I started my cycle um, I began to break out I didn't have breakouts prior to that um, and right when I got my menstrual cycle um, I began to break out a lot and it was very discouraging um, but I thought oh this is just you know something that kids go through so it's not a big thing right so once it started to become bigger for me like it became um it started to break out really bad they were very like on the surface they never had a white head um they some hurt some don't first things first is i go to a dermatologist now throughout the entire time of my life i have always involved a dermatologist up until now um i went to a dermatologist i have had horrible run-in with dermatologists some helped some did not i broke out throughout my entire time in college um it was just always bad and i didn't wear makeup then so it wasn't makeup and it wasn't that i wasn't cleaning my face i did take care of my skin i washed it um cleaned it dried it you know put on moisturizer but at this point i was like 25 and i was like okay now girl you're 25 like this is starting to get embarrassing you're wrong this should not be happening once i graduated in 2015 and i actually started my job and i got real actual benefits i actually started to go to a um i went to a black dermatologist he recommended me to another dermatologist for a, a medication that he wasn't able to provide to me, which was Accutane. The dermatologist immediately gave me like medicines. And of course, I give the whole backstory of me going to several dermatologists, taking all of this medication, and none of it is helping. So I, get, I always give that backstory because I need you to understand that I've already went through this step. And I need you to do a little bit more than what these people did. So honestly and truthfully, like I get on camera and I wear makeup. Um, I take pictures I have on makeup. When I go out with my friends, I have on makeup. But honestly and truthfully, throughout my week, I do not have on makeup. Because I don't have time for that. <laughs> I got to get to work. I'm trying to let the doctor be the doctor so I don't, I don't argue. So I go and take the medicine, go use my money. My benefits money, my work money, my flex money to go get all of this medication, which probably cost me. I mean, it probably cost me like $50, but the visit to see him was $50 and the medication was $50. So $100 spent, right? I see my skin breaking out more and I'm like, okay, 
maybe it's maybe it's purging a bit let me give it a second into the month it's still like going berserk like it's my skin was having a field day okay i go to the dermatologist and i'm pissed at this point like i am pissed if you're not giving me what i came for let me find another doctor uh i kind of handed him the business fast forward i'm on accutane accutane is very like um a strong medication so i had to take an actual multiple choice test and i also had to do blood work every month every month on on the clock you missed your appointment you do not get your medication the skin cleared up it was great. I probably was on the medication for about six to seven months. Like, like even though I kind of like handed it to him, he just was like, you know, I didn't want to put you on a medication because that's a very strong medication. It's the same time frame that you took the medication after you get off the medication um, before you even think about like pregnancy. And I was like, I get all of that, but doc i ain't looking to be pregnant okay i took the medication cleared up my skin my skin was impeccable like it was beautiful definitely had a lot of side effects i have very much dry lips all the time um some people have experienced nosebleeds i i personally did not i did have um a lot of sunburns the medication made you very uh sensitive to the sun so yeah my eyes were very dry i end up having to go to an eye doctor due to to the medication drying up my eye glands. Y'all did something incorrect and it triggered something. I started going back to dermatology. He was like, if you took Accutane and you're still running into this issue, you might have to get back on Accutane. And honestly, it was a no for me because the side effects was just too detrimental to me. Like, but now I'm thinking of my health. You know, I can give you an antibiotic and it did start to work a little bit. And I mean, as soon as I got off the antibiotics, like two days, like if you took two days off, it just went berserk. Like it just went crazy. Like problem with antibiotics is your body will become immune to it. I couldn't keep taking it. So they would be like, okay, well you've been taking it for like six months. You gotta take it, you gotta give it a break. Like my face just, just went crazy. The people that have gone to school for this are unable to assist with this. At this point, I'm taking the medication. The medication's not helping. It's helping a little bit, but it's not really doing what it needs to do. So now I'm taking matters into my own hands because I'm just like, well, why am I so irritable? Why when I when my cycle come, um, that's when I see like real bad breakouts. I always knew it was hormonal, but I didn't know that your hormones played a big, big part. Um, so I started to go holistic. So let me say that first. But what came up on um, was uh, Maca Root, um, which is the Mary Ruth Maca Root. I did feel like I had a little more control over my emotions uh, with the Maca Root. It is a plant, um, plant derived herb and you doing research um and some people brought up magnesium which i did begin to take magnesium did help like my bowel movement issue a little bit um i didn't see anything clearing my acne as far as the magnesium goes which like your bowel movement and it did after a while of taking the magnesium and getting the magnesium in my my body it slowed down on that aspect i then added probiotics probiotics so the probiotic and the magnesium help with uh good health i felt like my good health was in shambles and maybe that was the reason why my acne was acting the way that it was and i was still breaking out super bad so at this point now i'm researching herbs that are supplements that helps with um hormonal breakouts first one that i ran into was dim it encourages active and healthy estrogen metabolism this definitely did work. 
I will take it from I had actually finished a whole bottle of them and it actually did work I was still breaking out just a little bit but it was bearable it was like maybe a pimple here or two pimples there I'm still having like these emotional attacks but actually dim helped it a lot of it started to feel like maybe I was overproducing estrogen or maybe I was overproducing testosterone I don't know which one I'm overproducing but whatever it is that's what's triggering the emotions um dim also making me <laughs> making my mind dim i had a lot of brain fog and that was one of the side effects is that like even now i have bad memory like i was really forgetting stuff but i'm like okay well i'm still breaking out and i wanted to stop like cease like completely like, so i still do my research and i come up on vitex frequently used to relieve PMS and menopausal symptoms. Balance hormone was the big one, which is what I went down the rabbit hole of researching. And I still have breakouts, but they're not severe. Like, so it makes total sense that I was overproducing. I, I believe that I was overproducing estrogen. I told the doctors, girl, they said my levels are fine. Taking Vitex says it's not. You know what I'm saying? So forever beyond this until I figure out a way to balance my hormones without it. Vitex saved my life. <laughs> One thing that I want you guys to take from this, do your own research and especially with these doctors, we kind of depend on them a little more than what we should. Um, yes, I still have to take Vitex every day, but I have to take vitamins every day, period. I will say that I, it was a lot of trial and error and that is okay. If you guys have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comment section. Make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you're following me on all social medias. That's all I have for you guys. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, bye guys. It's not that I don't.